Hey there. Today I'm diving into a fascinating topic, how genetics shaped our skin tones. Let's take a journey through history, science, and a bit of genetics to understand why we look the way we do. Firstly, it's important to know that human skin color is determined by a pigment called melanin. Melanin acts like a natural sunscreen, protecting our skin from the harmful effects of ultraviolet UV radiation. But how did this variation come about? Our story begins around 200,000 years ago in Africa, where Homo sapiens first appeared. Early humans had dark skin, rich in melanin, which was crucial for survival in the intense African sun. This high melanin content protected their skin from UV radiation, reducing the risk of skin cancer and folate depletion, which is vital for reproduction. As humans began migrating out of Africa around 70,000 years ago, they encountered different climates and levels of UV exposure. In regions with lower UV radiation, such as Europe and Asia, the evolutionary pressure for high melanin content decreased. This led to the gradual development of lighter skin tones. Why? Lighter skin allows more UV radiation to penetrate the skin, enabling the production of vitamin D, which is essential for a bone health. Genetically, several genes are involved in determining skin color. One of the most significant is the MC1R gene, which influences melanin production. Variations or mutations in this gene can result in different skin tones. For example, people with red hair and fair skin often have specific MC1R variants. Interestingly, the genetic diversity in skin color is not just a matter of latitude and UV exposure. Recent studies have shown that East Asian and Native American populations have unique genetic adaptations for skin color independent of European populations. This points to a complex interplay of genetics and environmental factors over thousands of years. It's also worth noting that skin color is a polygenic trait, meaning multiple genes contribute to the final outcome. This results in a wide spectrum of skin tones across the globe. In fact, the genetic basis for skin color is so diverse that two individuals from different populations might have more in common genetically than two individuals from the same population with different skin tones. So what does all this mean? Well, it's a powerful reminder of our shared humanity, but all be that. Despite the differences in our skin tones, we all share a common ancestry. Understanding the genetics behind skin color helps us appreciate the incredible diversity of human life and the intricate dance of evolution that shaped us. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this deep dive into genetics and human history, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.